Yo, what's up you kinks? This is uh Design Nade coming at you with a quick tutorial on uh how to add color correction or a CC in Photoshop. So here we go. Right, there are many different tutorials on YouTube and many different ways of doing this. But personally I think this is the best way and this is the way I do it when I make all my backgrounds. So firstly you want to come up to your uh, adjustments tab and add a black and white adjustment and turn the opacity of it down to about 20 ish anything between about 18 and 23 is fine in my opinion anyways once you've done that you want to go press the back arrow on your adjustments tab here you change your adjustments this and add a gradient map adjustment now once you've added this this is the most vital most important thing you must learn this and you have to change to ooh, change it, but uh, change your gradient map even from normal to soft light. And make sure this is soft light, otherwise it'll just look like what it looks like at the moment. It doesn't look very good. Once you change it to soft light, the colours kind of blend in with each other, and it looks like an actual colour correction. It looks pretty good. Now you can keep the uh, opacity of this on 100, but if you want, you can turn it down well to your liking, or however you wish to have it. But you don't, maybe you don't want a, uh, a black and red. Usually, when you change it, it'll be this casual white and black because that's the uh, default setting. So, uh, what you want to do is you want to come up here to this gradient box and just click on that. And uh, if it's already on the black and white preset, that's fine. If it's not, change it to this black and white preset. And uh, as you can see, you have these two tabs at the bottom. What you want to do is double click on the first one to change and select your colors. Now let's just say you want to have blue color correction. For the first color, you want to get a nice dark blue. That's a bit purpley for me. Let's change that down a bit. Here we go. Nice dark blue. And for your second tab, you want to double click on that. And you want to change it to a very, very light blue, almost a white. And click OK. And if you if you really wanted to, you can uh, move these tabs around and change it to your liking. But it looks perfectly fine as it does here with the uh, tabs on each end. And once you've done that, you've got a pretty nice color correction. Uh, if so let's just uh, for a while. For example, if you come back onto changing your colors for your gradient maps, there this uh, preset here, which is the violet to orange preset, is it's the default preset it's actually really really nice and yeah, I use it on a lot of backgrounds so yeah I, I use it on a lot, a lot of backgrounds and I think it looks pretty cool anyways <laughs> sorry about that's my door creaking uh, that in my opinion that is the best default uh, setting and once again you can move the tabs about to, uh, to your liking, but once again it looks better with the tabs on each end. Now, there is another way of doing color correction in Photoshop, and uh, let's just delete these for now. Oop, no, just delete, delete these for now. Another way of doing it is adding curves. Now, if you click on the adjustments uh, tab and change it to curves, you will it will come up with this uh, small square box. If you keep it on RGB, it will just unchange it. It will just make the darker colors darker or lighter, and the lighter colors lighter or darker. If you want to make the lighter, the lighter colors lighter, you want to move the top up and the bottom down to make the darker colors darker. Now, in my opinion, that does look good and it makes the darker colors stand out, but yeah, it just doesn't look as good as a gradient map, which is why I don't use it that often. But to make it look a little bit better, ooh, make it look a little bit better. If you just change it from uh, RGB to maybe red, you can move the red up and the bottom down. And that does look quite nice. But the only problem with this is you can't have more than one color, like a light blue and a dark blue. You can only have the one solid red. And uh, this is why it's quite limited and you're also limited to only the uh, three colors. But once you've mixed again with them and uh, messed around with them, it does you know, change the colors a little bit. But it's far more easier, and uh, in my opinion, it looks a lot better when you use the uh, gradient maps. So, anyway, just a 
quick tip before I go, whenever you do do a greedy map, just make sure you change uh, your layer from normal to soft light. Any other one and it'll probably look ugly and horrible. Soft light is the one you want to go for. So uh, anyway guys, I hope this uh, tutorial has been helpful. And uh, maybe like and comment if it has. And uh, if, check out my content on my channel if you like it. Or maybe you want a background. Come send me a uh, personal message and we can uh, hook things up. Anyway, this has been a design aid. I'm out, y'all.